Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be going over a new mini game. And in this mini game, I'm calling it the catching things mini game because you know, that's kind of self-explanatory. But in this uh, mini game, at least the version I have, you are trying like there's someone going around shaking the apple trees and the um farmer is worried that he's going to lose all of his harvest. So you have to go around underneath the trees, catching the apples in a basket. Uh, this, I could not, short of actually playing this game, it's uh, the Disney Princess Enchanted Journey <laughs> game again. If you guys watched my red light, green light video, um, it's inspired by that again. I think that I have this very vivid memory from this game of going and doing something like this. And I can't, for the life of me, remember um, or find where it came from. And I swear, like, in my memory, it came from this game. But I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> so, you know, I'm just throwing it out there. I could be wrong. But anyways, aside from that, uh, let's just head into the video. <laughs> Yay! I caught one. I have one. Okay. Two. Oh no. I missed one. Tragic. I'll get the next one though. Okay, it... This is just kind of proof of concept. This isn't the actual game. The actual game is... Here. And here. For... Better. There, I'm gonna look in my basket. Okay, I forgot to turn direction fix on, but it's fine. They're going too fast. I'm missing a bunch of them. Why are they going at different speeds? <laughs> I might have made this a lot harder than I intended. Trick me. Why am I invested in this? Okay, how many have I gotten? 17. Okay, I think you guys get the point. <laughs> Anyways, let me just show you on the basic one. What's going on? This is just a simple call variable to tell me how much that variable has gone up. Uh, okay, I need to pull up region IDs. Okay. So these X's are for aesthetic purposes. If you've seen some of my other videos, you know, it just this is a visual representation of you can't walk in this area that I use to make it easier for you guys to see. In the actual final polished version of this, you, I mean, maybe you would, or maybe you just want to have a fence or something there, just something to show, hey, you can't move up or down, but you can go left or right, which is reliant in this thing for it to fully work and not take forever to register anything. All right, so as always, I prefer labels to loop, but label top, then it gets the location info of Apple One, which is this. It gets the location info of the fall one and saves it to variable apple one. So it gets the event below this one. This guy gets the location info of that one. And then if that one equals three, if the, the uh, region equals three, so right down here, then uh, it turns apple one on. This is a switch, not the variable which you'll see what that does when I look at the other event. It brings the apple back to the top where it starts from. It waits one frame, and then it turns the switch off. If two is on, then it goes to a new page. Otherwise, if neither of these things are happening, it just goes through everything again. On the new page, if it equals two, then it gets the location of the player. If you and the apple are on the same location, if you are both standing on the number two, then you increase the variable. Uh, for it, you reset the event, the Apple event, back to the top, and then you turn 
the self switch A off and it brings you back here. Now on the Apple, again, losing labels instead of loops works the same way. Uh, then it. This is a random variable. Oops, I meant to space R. Set to either one or two. Uh, if one, then the apple takes 60 seconds before it, when it shows up before it falls. And if two, it takes 30 frames, not seconds, sorry. It takes 30 frames before it falls. Uh, then it brings you back to the top. So here, uh, after the timers are happened, brings you here and it waits an additional 30 or, and then this is showing you, hey, the apple's gonna fall. And then this one, is it falling? This chair changes depending on where you have the player standing, but uh, yeah. And then uh, if Apple One turns on, then it controls switch A and B off for this guy and just brings you back to the first page. So that was what was happening here when it turned Apple on and then Apple off. It was just resetting this to the first page. And yeah, so with this guy, notice that there's two, four, and five. So each of these individual ones, sorry, wrong event, will check to see if the player is on the correct region ID. So this one will check if Apple II is on four. This one will check if the Apple II if Apple 1 is on 2, oh my goodness, and this one will check if Apple 3 is on 5. I already had the set to 3 on this one and I didn't want to change it. That's why the numbers are wonky. Uh, but you'll notice that each apple falls at a different rate. That will be because I had the speed and frequency changed. You can make that a variable as well, uh, which you would do with set move root, change speed, change frequency. And it would update that. I don't. I just have each of these trees falls at a slightly different rate. As you saw, it was impossible not to miss some apples. I do not have this as a part of it, but you could very easily go in here. If it equals three, then you want to either, there are two options here. You can control variable, you can subtract one from your uh, apple total, or you can add one to a new apple total and that would tell you how many you missed or it would just subtract from your main score so you, then you could end up in the negative. Um, it is just completely up to you. Uh, there could be consequences if you get too many in the negative, uh, stuff like that, but you know, as I said, it is up to you and what your game needs. So just let me... Go through this one more time after I do this. Okay, let's try this one more time. Just so you see now that you know how it works, how it works. Okay, for the basket, good. Yeah, you see, I have the apple over here going way too fast. It's almost impossible to catch. So, you know, it would take a little finessing. But yeah. I don't know why it's not letting me click him now. But anyways, you get the point that I accidentally turned through on. I did not. Yeah, you get the point <laughs> anyways. Um, so yeah, that is all there is into the apple catching things, falling, whatever you'd like to refer to it as. If you know that there's an actual name for this mini game and you know it, please leave it in the comments down below because I have no idea what it is. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed today's video and found it helpful and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!